hello and welcome back again to the channel i wish you all a happy new year and i wish this year it will be better than the previous one today my subject is the nature of the quran is it truly the word of god or it's just a human being but after time people give it more than it deserves when you grow up as a muslim surrounded with all muslim people you never thought to question the nature of this text you just accept what everybody around you say but when you have a doubt in your heart and start making research you start seeing the holes and the cracks my first example is Sora 7 verse 176 he said if we had willed we have have elevate him with our signs but he clung to his life following his evil desire his example is that of a dog if you chase it away it pants and if you leave it it pants it still pants this is the example of people who deny our signs so now write to them the stories of the past so perhaps they will reflect if we examine this example that allah give in the quran we will see that allah is too ignorant to be a god and the quran only can be the words of a human being the cause of the dog panting is because either he's sick or is overheated and because dogs does not sweat like human being does so he have to breathe heavily to start cooling his body Muhammad was lived in the desert of Saudi Arabia and in the desert and hot weather the dogs is too difficult for them to keep them body all time cool but Muhammad that time think that the dog always pants either way and this idea that Muhammad had on the dog panting you can see it very clearly in the interpretation books in Tafsir at Taba he said Abu Ja'far said the first interpretation is correct the interpretation of the one who said it is an example of his abandoning the work of the revelation of God that he gave him and that is meaning whether he preach or not he does not leave what he is in disagreeing with the command of his Lord just as a dog if you carry thing on him and you chase it or abandon it and expel it he gasping in either case the second example we're going to see here is an insult from allah to a human being surah 68 verse 13 he said brute and on the top of all of that he is an illegitimate child in the tafsir a sahaba said this man is called Balam and he was in the time of Moses and he was an evil man in a tabari interpretation he said the messenger of God was asked about the cruel man he said the mean and the obscene one and he is saying illegitimate child and paternity fraud in the world of the Arab that is asphyxiated to people who are not among them. Another said Zanim does not know who is his father. And that is one of the many reasons that Islam forbid the adoption. Because Muhammad think any child does not born from a married man and a woman, he is illegitimate child and he is a fraud so in the islam they don't have the right for the inheritance and they don't have a right either way to be care of and even he make it impossible for somebody to care about him the third example is in the surah 62 verse 5 he said the example of those who were entrusted with the Torah but failed to do so is that of a donkey carry books how evil is the example of those who reject Allah signs for Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people in this verse the writer of the Quran describing the Jew as a donkeys carrying books in them bags but they don't know what is in their books 
that they carry on their backs this hateful behavior it's only can came from a human being in the interpretation of at tabari he said the almighty say like those who gave the torah from the jew and the christian so they carried it he said they did not act according to what is contained and they deny muhammad and they have in their book command to believe in him to follow him like a donkey carry on its back books from the books of the knowledge it does not benefit from them and do not understand what they contain likewise those who gave the torah in which the statement of muhammad command like them if they did not benefit from what is in it same as a donkey that carry books with the knowledge he does not understand it and does not benefit from it and about which we said the people of interpretation said and the last example which i'm going to examine here is surah 5 verse 60 he said say O prophet shall i inform you of those who deserve a worse punishment from allah it is those who earn allah condemnation and displeasure some be reduced to apes and pigs and worshiper of false god these are far worse in rank and rather astray from the right way in tafsir at tabari he said it was said that the deformation of the children of israel was that a woman from the children of israel was in a village of the children of israel and there was a king of the children of israel and they had gathered for the destruction as for the meaning of his saying he who is cursed by god it means he who was removed and cursed by god from his mercy he was angry with him and made them monkeys and pigs shame and trouble in this world so the story said in the quran that some of the children of israel was cursed by allah and made to apes and pigs because of the sin that they do and they are the worst creature of this world so when muslims said stop insult our religion and our prophet and said this is islam Phobia, how all this verse cannot be Jewishophobia and Christianophobia and Kafirophobia. They've been allowed to teach this stuff to the children and make them grow up, hate other people and other religion. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this year will be better than the last one.